Hi, this video is from NTP.com. I'm going to talk about uh, Spring MVC tutorial. Already, we are, I have given the, I have posted the introduction. In this video, I'm going to talk about the second video. What is Spring MVC? Model View Controller. So, what is Spring MVC? Before that, what is MVC? MVC is a design pattern. MVC pattern separates an application into three different parts: the object model model of the application, the view through which the user interacts the, with the application, the controller that controls all the processing done by the application. So model M view V controller C. So the model is the the data, the view is the presentation layer, control is the one which is going to take the complete control of business logic. What is the main benefit of Spring MVC? We can reuse the components and modifying one layer will not affect the other layers. So a lot of decoupling happens here. Say you are changing in presentation, there is a view, we don't, uh, it, it will not impact the controller. So everything is separated now. When I say uh, Spring MVC uh, dispatch servlet is very very important. Dispatch servlet a Spring's front controller servlet. So this is the class provided by Spring. I just want to show you a, a diagram. So whenever a user clicks the button from the HTML page, so a dispatch servlet is the one is going to get the request and it's going to find out which controller. And find after finding out which controller using the handler mapping. So handler adapter is going to be the bridge between the controller and the dispatcher server. The main purpose of handler adapter is it will convert model and view into model view object. So it is doing something. It is helping actually the dispatcher server. So it's going to talk to the controller and controller is going to talk to the service layer. Service layer will do the business logic. Say for example create hotel, delete hotel, add hotel. So we will reach the controller. We will say delete hotel say create hotel it will create the hotel using the service layer then get the object model and get the view name so this this handler adapter will convert into model view object and it will give to dispatch servlet and whenever i get the model view object i'm going to give it to view resolver he is the one who is going to prepare the presentation layer i want to repeat view resolver getting the view name and getting the model view object he is going to prepare the presentation layer and he will resolve the view and it will it will be presented in the http that is a browser okay let me show you some code so that you can understand so now we have just talked about the controller sends the request along with the model and view name back to the dispatcher servlet this diagram so controller sends the uh, view view name and model and Again, it talks to the view resolver to get the view in the browser. So let me show you the some code. So this is the dispatcher servlet from from Spring. We are going to register with servlet context. That means when the Tomcat starts, this servlet will be registered. And I want to show you the hotel controller. This is very very important. And we have the request mapping. So this is the URL. So when I say add hotel, I'm going to prepare this model view object. Okay. Then I'm going to return this model view object. So handle adapter or the dispatch servlet will give it to the view resolver, and view resolver will prepare the presentation layer. You can ask me what is the view view the name of the view is this I'll show you that as well so source pages so add hotel form so this is the view name we are giving and all the the model data will be rendered here if you see here so the path name address so it will be one minute list of hotels so this is the model and we are going to access all the values 
using the this JSP file. Okay, so here in the controller we will be giving the view name and view resolver is the one which is going to pre pre prepare the presentation layer. So view resolver in in our case it is URL based view view resolver. Okay. So I've, uh, briefly I talked about what is a Spring MVC. In the next video I'll be talking more about what is uh, what are the benefits of Spring MVC. Then I'll continue with model view control and other questions. Hope this video is useful. Thank you and all the best.